Hello guys, my name is Regspet and welcome to Rome 2 now. This game came out yesterday, well as I'm recording this came out yesterday, it came out on the 3rd of September, that's when I got it anyway. And yeah, this game is amazing and the following video is, this is me doing a live commentary over the um, this video. This is basically a replay of a game that took place um, yesterday between me and Conrad. So I was playing as Rome. And I can't remember if I was playing as the Macedon, which I believe is um, Alexander the Great's um, army. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So this is his troop setup. He's got his horses on this line. Plenty of missile troops and a lot of spears and swordsmen. And I've gone for um, something more unconventional. Um, I've got my horses um, hidden. Yeah, sort of hidden anyway. <laughs> um, it's called, I don't know if you know it's straight away, but... Um, Got a line of war dogs, which you know, I like to start with a set of war dogs, it's quite interesting. Um, lots of Praetorian guards, um, some decent amount of cavalry, some extraordinary. Um, spears, again, always useful against horses. Some trebuchet. Um, I play some gladiators. No, gladiators, gladiators here. Um, I always like gladiators, and my general bodyguards are here. So, I'm going to go ahead and. Let's play to start. Um, as you can see, there's some stray elephants here. At first, we were worried whether they're going to run over there and start trampling people down, but no, that wasn't the case. Now, so we'll start with the game. It's a bit of a stalemate. Um, he starts to move his troops though, so I'm aware of that. Um, I'm just going to fast forward it a little bit here just uh, so you can see the move. So he's moving quite quickly um, towards me, and so uh, this is my first move. My first move is, well, uh, move some of my guards a bit forward just to hold the line a little bit and as you can see I move my dogs in. Now my dogs and how I like to use them is a bit of a scare attack. It's just to throw them in and you know just try and cause a bit of trouble. Um, you have to get so... you have to get pretty close to the line. I think it's something about this line um, and then you can set them free which is yeah it's quite cool. It's quite a little cool little thing to do. <laughs> as you can see, this is just, it's basically you can replay battles as in watch it like I am doing now, and um, it runs in quite nice smooth frames when you watch it back at all. You can replay the battle and fight it again, so you fight um, either against AI or against um, your friend again. So here we are, this is the. Um, oops. This is the. Horses, um, horses? No dogs running in. Uh, see, they get absolutely rinsed by um, archers, archers. But they go in, cause a bit of unrest, cause a bit of trouble. You know, that's basically what the fall. That's what I use them for. Um, which is quite cool. There you go. See, it's down a horse. Some coming from the rear. You know, can't complain if it takes down some soldiers. You can't complain too much now. As you can see, these guys are just basically fodder then, because you know they don't do a lot. They're just peasants, really, just holding the horses, which is fine. Um, I am starting to move my oranges forward just to cause a bit more trouble. I think in the end they took um, put down over 200, 200 soldiers, uh, which is again a good, a good scare tactic just to un um, unrest the enemy troops. And I think the battle is. Heating up and it's about to step first. I'll fast forward a little bit just to just show the troops moving. Um, so far, my first impression of this game is pretty good. You know, it plays pretty smoothly. Um, the frame rates could be improved a little bit. There we go, my on just the firing now. Good hits there, as you can see. Yeah, the frame rates aren't amazing. Um, I haven't got like the biggest machine in the world, but you know, it's pretty, it's mid range, you know, decent graphics card, decent, decent CPU, a decent amount of RAM. Runs at about 50 frames when I'm zoomed out like this, and when I'm zoomed in, it gets to about 25 30, which is amazingly good, but yeah, it's not bad. It's a quite a CPU intensive game. I'm gonna fast forward again here, and now you the managers running now. Basically, Conrad's gonna start moving his troops in. Uh, my dogs have just been absolutely rinsed. <laughs> I'm still holding this line strong though, that's the plan. They're all in, um, you know, defense stance, they're just waiting for the troops to come. And you know, the onagers and the dogs uh, split the troops up a little bit. I've got, whilst I've got a nice line coming here, 
And we got a good tactic from here, from him. We can start moving his cavalry to the flank. Probably try and hit this from the side. That's why I've sort of put these at an angle of the guard. Um, just to try and prevent that. And as I see him coming in eventually, I do try and try and meet him head on. Again. And here we go. The horses are coming in. Horses? <laughs> what are they talking about? Elephants? They start to move in. That's another thing, you know, it's just it's just a scare tactic just to run people in. He's got two units charging at him and uh, hit the trample the trample button, which, boom, absolutely <laughs> smashed a few people now. They'll do the job. It's took two units away from the brunt of this. Um, you know, it's all good now. Recovery is coming in. This is my guard and these my gladiators. Probably one of the best ideas to send my general in against them, but I know for a fact gladiators are very, very useful troops, just fight to the bitter end sort of thing. Um, again here, he sent them in and I managed to turn my guard around at the very last second. Um, I did lose these onages, but I took the brunt of the battle with these thing, people. And yeah, the battle's you know, starting to take place now. There's a lot of troops going on, but we've got a good steady line going on. Elephants have done the job. Well, dead, but they've done the job. Now we're going to go to a new feature which is the cinematic mode well, I don't think it's a new it might not be any new feature but we're going to go to it and have a look and see what's going on now this is basically what the cinematic mode is it's just getting in there let's just zoom in just to see a better angle of basically the actual interface that people find is if I'm guessing people who are watching this has played Rome, the original Rome and as you can see yeah, it's pretty cool. They're thinking the battles are pretty smart. Um, I want to come out of this now. Um, right, quick, quick, there you go. Uh, that was basically me trying to back up my onagers from the horse that was coming in. At this point, I am starting to take the battle. Luckily for me, I was quite happy with how I was going there. Uh, I think the dogs and the elephants and the onagers did a very, very good job um, of just splitting up the troops of the enemy and you know rinsing them out just so they want a bigger brunt here now a lot of them are starting to run the archers are coming in over here the horses the gladiators aren't meant for going against horses but they fight to the bitter end and they just they just do the job and as you can see from this i want to get the menu here we go you know they're not happy recovery are on the retreat there we go, they're, uh, they're off now, so they've been fought, and now I've got all these troops, which I can see there, to send in just to um, show up the battlefield. Um, you can see the balance of power is slowly shifting to me, which it always is. <laughs> Hopefully going to get a few more of these style videos, just watching back later on. It's quite a cool way of doing things. You can see things in the battle that you didn't notice before whilst you're fighting them, which is quite cool. So if you guys want to see more, if you're new to the channel you come in and just go to this video and you want to see more of these videos, you know, subscribe, let us know. If you're already a subscriber, congratulations, you've made a good choice. And again, if you want to see more Rome videos, let us know because we're, you know, we prefer to put videos out there that everyone wants to see rather than guessing. So if you want to see Rome 2, it's a new game, you know, let us know and we'll, we'll be happy to do so. There you go, um, I've got these horses here, basically I threw these in just to stop the attack from the missile troops which were, you know, they can sort of turn a game in the end, I mean, if they've just got free roam to hit your troops for arrows, they'll keep on firing, keep on firing. Um, these guys were the, yeah, the uh, Equites Extraordinaire, Extraordinary, sorry, um, very, very, very good effective troops, there's a lot of, Rome, Rome's um, people have got a lot more attention paid to them and they've got a lot more horses, they've got different types of horses, they've got missile horses, they've got um, spear horses, they've got basic horses that are meant for throwing into the enemy lines just to you know, show things up. Now, quite a good tactic here was, well from him, but <laughs> if the troops weren't wanting to retreat to transfer my troops, because I didn't really realise that there was guys hanging around here, and you know, they could have got in behind me and done some damage, but luckily, the enemies are retreating. So yeah, this is quite a cool little way of looking into the game. I think that was, yeah, that was pretty much the end. So, 
I hope you guys enjoy this video, just sort of a first look at the game, first analysis of a match that took place. Um, if you want to see more of these style videos, uh, let me know and we'll put some more up. <laughs> it won't just be me winning of course because I've lost a few and I'll get them out as well. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and like I said, want to see more, let me know and I will see you in the next one. Bye!